My last video was a guide on a support who a lot of people try to run mid, and yet I advocated to not do that. It was really important to me that I got that through to you. I mean, Shaman is best as a support. So now, I'm about to do a guide on a support that I do take mid, and anybody who disagrees with me is wrong. That's a good philosophy, by the way. It saves a lot of time when you just cover your ears to any dissenting opinions. Let me be honest, I tried this build out many, many patches ago, and it absolutely did not work. I was trying to fit a square peg into a round hole. Shakira mid, won his lane, took his tower, and then immediately fell off. And no matter how hard I tried, I could not stop that from happening. Because his spells were so static, they had a max amount of potential. The dirty term for it is, they did not scale. And so here I am, months and months later, doing it again. What changed? Shakira is that lovely support that can win a game without even clicking on a hero, funnily enough. Although I'd suggest you do. Games are probably easier to win when you're actually attacking the enemy, but every single one of Shakira's spells is an AoE. Every single one is magic, nearly every single one has an added slow or a stun or something. The one that doesn't, Macropire, compensates by just dealing exorbitant amounts of damage. With all that in mind, it comes to pass that Shakira is the bane of the Meepos and the Chaos Knights and any illusion or summon based hero, and any hero who attacks you. Because you have 100% up to, well, technically 125% uptime on a 60 attack speed slow. In reality, he counters everything except for the few heroes who either outrange him or simply just don't care about magic damage. You know, Lifestealer, Juggernaut, Huskar, Viper. Actually, come to think of it, you could drop the word Jukiro out of this guide and replace it with the word Venomancer and nothing would change. And keep that in mind, because whatever Venomancer can do, Jukiro can do. And yet Venomancer is the most hated thing in Dota right now, speeding towards that nerf hammer, and Jukiro isn't. Come next patch, Jukiro will be the new plague of pub games. Better get in early, eh? Did you know that the Ice Head is named Jack and the Fire Head is named Eero, and that's why the Twin Hater Dragon is called Jack Eero? It, I mean... I'd be surprised if you did, because I just made it up, but I mean, it's so believable that I've just sort of taken it as canon, which is a bad habit. I can lie and say X is a great hard carry, if only people gave him a shot. And then even though when I know I've just made it up, it's a lie, I can convince myself that it's true just because I want it to be true. Now, on to an unrelated topic, let's carry on with this Jakira mid guide. Here's the build. Jewel Breath shoots a slowing ice breath followed by a damaging fire breath 0.3 seconds later and here the problem starts, you know, rearing their head or heads. Because Jewel Breath, like all Jack spells, has a massive windup of 0.65 seconds and Jewel Breath fire breath coming out even later means you're locked into casting the spell which pretty much ends up as a 1 second self stun. This is only the start. Conventionally this is a great value point spell because the level 1 slow is already 30% but maxing it out is 400 damage. Perfect for mids. Ice Path, yet again, has a cast animation of 0.65 and an effect delay of 0.5. Another spell that takes 1 second before even doing anything. Ice Path lasts for 2.5 seconds and then the stun ends with a path end, so if someone walks into it near the end, they might only be stunned for a split second. An important trick to separate you from the plebs, when running away, cast it in front of you and run through it, don't cast it behind you, ever. It's amazingly easy to dodge and the time it takes you to turn and turn back negates the stun period anyway. Run away, Ice Path the direction you're facing and run up it. Liquid Fire is the bread and butter of the build though, a no mana 100% uptime attack modifier with splash damage, the most important trick. Manually casting it uses the 600 cast range, auto casting it uses Jigero's default 400 attack range. It affects buildings completely. 60 attack speed slow on a structure that doesn't actually attack fast to begin with pretty much means that your creeps don't die. You're in fact one of the only heroes that can 1v1 a tower. That's a pretty wild achievement. At level 1, it's an extra 60 damage on every cast, for which I remind you costs no mana. And Macropy is just more of like a bonus. Jakira would probably still be a balanced error even without the ultimate. Ice Frog just had to give him something. It's a 10 second duration area denial pretty much. Use it during pushes, during Roche and choke points. It's just, a, it's just a handy spell to have uh, ha handy, but rarely in the only way to play. The key feature to this guide is actually in the talents. I mean, level 10 and 15 aren't really that much, it's just get spell amp, ignore the XP gain, we get levels throw our amp damage anyway because we push and farm faster. Uh, it's a toss up between the damage and cast range. I personally go cast range because of the level 20 talent, that talent being 400 attack range. In theory, this plus Hurricane Pike gives you 940 range, just under Sniper, and over any hero in the game. With it, you outrange towers. You could push tier 3 while practically being back in your fountain. 150 gold per minute is an amazing talent, but it pales in comparison to the alternative. And right after that, we have the choice between two more broken talents. Either your ult becomes pure BKB piercing damage, or your 9 second ice path gets a stun duration of 3.75, practically half. Usually you'd get that, but against your counters in Husker and Lifestealer, for example, it would probably be better to get the Macro Pyre. And the previous talent just gave us an answer to heroes that outrange us. So did, did, did we just do it? Did we just create a hero build that has no counters? And they say Venomancer is broken. Psh. Okay, now we've got to be careful here. So far, we're, we're still playing Jakiro Smart. Yeah, yeah, we took a mid, but we're not completely off the deep end yet. I just need to resist the urge to tell you to get Deso plus Phase plus Guardi plus Hurricane Pike. So don't go those items. 
unless you want to. But for everyone else, start off with a Null Talisman and Tango's farm up and get a bottle, pretty typical stuff, right? Get another Talisman if you need it instead of a bottle, maybe you're not really taking that much harass, you don't spam Q as much as you spam E, and then finish the trifecta. Racer, Wraith Band Null, into Aquila, Veil, Atos. For the insanely low price of 6,405 all up, barely anything in the grand scheme of things, you get 24 strength, 21 agility, 35 end, which equates to 480 HP, 8 armor, 57 extra damage, 385 mana, and all of the actives, an armor aura for creeps, and considering you have a spell that makes the tower hit less, having creeps survive longer is exponentially better, a magic amp, where every single spell that you have is magic, and an amazing long range disable that helps set up every other spell. You'd be hard pressed to find a more efficient build, and to confirm it's legit, think about who else could go it. Doesn't really suit Huska or Drow, doesn't suit Pudge, but it does suit Venomancer. And when Venomancer is nerfed to oblivion, we'll be ready to take his place. All we need to do is sell our soul. Hi there. Uh, this episode was brought to you by Gore Rocker, Foxy or Fucking Luxley, Free Kill, Chris, 1996, Pierce and Mewborn, The Adam Sandor, Attack Crab, Allah Who Dankbar, Lucas Cocoon, Zena Penumbra, Mr. Revolute, Shadow Sweetheart, Jeff Miller, uh, Carbon Bond, Re Gue Mifle, Haha, I saw these guys a whole month ago, Michael Robb, Mr. Magic, aka The Tones, Kaiser Wilhelm, Oslovic, Shiva's Guard, Lieutenant Papa, uh, Red, English Breakfast Tea, uh, Pro S, Procrastination Studios, Leonard, Yabus McGee, uh, Soranok, XD, Christian Rudder, Milo Cott, uh, Scar, Apache Mari wearing a headwear, neckwear, nicknamed as Hatcrafter, Jim Bob, the Son of God, Tsunami Shadow, Puneeth P, Rip Mitchell, Exato, Whimsy Shy Magic, Grumman, Emmy Dies Alone, King Gizzard, the Shitty Wizard, Herpa Duper, Duda Derp, Swaggity, Booty, Boot Boot D, Tugs McBoat, slap a leg of lamb on the side for it. Redless, Zephrampilica, Kerosene, and 15. And yeah, that's, that's it.